there's no way that you putting it down is a mental health problem. You putting that down is that shows me you really have a problem. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because if 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 you feel like no one should go get help or no one should, you you have a more problem than the people getting help. You need it the most. You really need it. You feel me? So that's why when people do put it down, I don't I don't get mad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just get kind of like like okay, now I, I really want to start talking to this guy. You know what I'm saying? Or or this girl or whatever. You feel me? Because because they really they really are 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 struggling with something. You feel me? And they're trying to cover it up with all this you feel me mm-hmm. so i i know exactly what you're talking about and like what you said like the more you talk the more there's people that see me and off the off the rip they're like oh shit <laughs> this mother you know what i'm saying <laughs> and then when they talk to me they'd be like oh what the hell this dude's hella cool you feel me like how's he how is he this cool and this happy all the time? He just went, he just got out of prison from doing all that time. Like how? You know what I'm saying? I'm probably the most happiest person that I be around. You feel me? Like yeah. I'm most non-negative person that people be around. The most non-racist person that anybody knows. I be with Asians. I be with white boys all the time. I be with black dudes. I be with Indians. I be with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I look at them as equal. And if anybody disrespects them. I feel more disrespected than they feel. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's racist towards a white guy or a black guy or, or Indian or Asian. I'd be more disrespected than them. You, I feel more disrespected than them. You feel mm. me? Yeah. Like I get more, I get mad. You feel me? Even, even if it were one-on-one, I get mad. You feel me? Like I'm, I'm not going for that. You feel me? Even if it's just me and somebody one-on-one in the room, like I don't play that because for example, a white guy hired me and changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he gave me a shot that hella people would never give me. You feel me? And they got the they got the means and they got everything to 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 do what he did for me, and they didn't. Yeah, yeah. And so that's why I look at I look at a lot of things like that. Like, bro, you cannot look at color. You gotta you gotta just look at people's attitudes and. And their characters, you know what I'm saying? Like, who cares? Like, bro, I don't care at all. Like, zero percent. I don't care. People are just humans. Like, look at people as humans. You know what I'm saying? I think we forget that people walk around so often and forget that the you know that person that you're walking by or whatever is struggling with something too. They've got their hardships. Yeah. They've got their things. You know, and I know I've had people. Well, you know, I always love this one. If I was rich, I would be happy. Is like, no, you wouldn't. No. And I know some rich people that are miserable motherfuckers. So, yeah, because the more money you get, the more entitled everybody feels around you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you can help somebody give them five thousand. They're gonna. Why didn't he's rich? You should have gave me twenty thousand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you're dealing with that. Like, damn, I can't make nobody happy, no matter what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I deal with that, and I'm not even rich. You know what I'm saying? I I got a few dollars though. You feel me? I got I got some money, but. I'm dealing. With, I deal with the same thing. Like people ask me for this, people ask me for that. Oh, can I have this? I pay you back on Tuesday, and now it's like you don't even talk to me or you ignore me because you didn't because you didn't pay me back because you because you didn't want to pay me back. You're mad at me. Yeah, and I didn't even say nothing about you paying me back. I probably would have just gave it to you. But since you told me you give me pay me back and you don't want to pay me back, now you avoided me. So now it's like I lost a friend or a family member. Because I gave you some money. Yeah. Because now that you don't want to pay me back, you just ignore me and just, you know what I'm saying, X me out. I don't know about you. I mean, I've been through similar situations and and definitely through my my addiction didn't recognize it, Dallas. But now on the other side of it, I'm I'm grateful because I'm like, you've done me a favor. I now have boundaries. I'm not here to please you. I'm not, I'm not your piggy bank. I'm not any of that. Yeah. So thank you. I recognize who you are and you can stay the hell over there. And that's fine. Exactly. I wish you well. You know what I'm saying? You need assistance on any type of help or anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I will help you, but just leave me alone. You gave me a reason that you gave me a reason to never to never give you no money or anything like that again. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it sucks it gotta be like that. But now it's like I just tell people no, 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 no. Unless I know like you really need it, I'm like, no, no, no. Because me saying yeah, 
is is you're probably gonna go MIA on me or you're gonna do something like that. And I'm not even tripping, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like I lose more when I say, Yeah, you feel me? I'm trying to be nice and I and I still lose. So now it's like I just randomly help people or or I'm or you know what I'm saying if you ask me it's for something like that you really need, that's one thing. But if I know that you're just getting high or you're doing you can't get nothing from me, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Because I I'm not gonna be preaching that people need to get sober or people need help and I'm feeding into your addiction. I'm not doing that. So yeah. if even if I know you get high, don't ask me for nothing. You feel me? Because yeah. You're you're spending money on 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 all the wrong things, and then you think you come to me and get the get what you need now that you're you're broke or something. And I'm not gonna, I can't do that. That's that's going backwards. This is the Knocking Doors Down podcast, featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma, to live purposeful lives. And that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.